Hello there, this is Alexander from sciencequest.net. This is actually our first video review. Uh, I've been doing this thing with the website, reviewing gear, for about three years now, and I decided it's time to start doing video reviews also. Today is a really fun day because we're gonna introduce you to a brand new pedal by a company that you may not know and I'm really excited to show you what they're doing. Today we're checking out The Lover by Empty Head Effects. Um, this is the third pedal by Empty Head. The thing that is really exciting is that this is a company run by one guy and we've been talking a lot the past year and it's kind of mind-blowing that in only one year he managed to release three pedals and they all sound fantastic. The first pedal was the external internal that you might have seen. It is a lo-fi modulation and drive pedal that is incredible. The second pedal is the Falling Man that is a lo-fi delay. And lastly we have the Lover which is a drive pedal and that we're gonna talk about today. This is really fun to play with. It is an overdrive, yeah, it's not exciting, but the way it sounds, it is really exciting. Um, we're gonna run this through guitar, synth, sampler. Uh, it's gonna be a wild ride. So let's see what this thing can do and go through all of its features. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe because a lot of reviews like this one are coming in the next weeks. So the Lover is a drive pedal. It is a much simpler design than the other two empty head effects pedals, the external, internal and the falling man. But I think that it's more focused, you know, to sound really good. And I think Nick nailed it with this one. This thing sounds incredible. It also has a lot of features, three knobs, three switches, and that's it. But with those things, you can actually create a lot of sounds and a great set of drive sounds. So now we're gonna listen to my dry tone. It's just humbucker pickups into the mother preamp. Disclaimer, I'm not a great guitarist, so please bear with me. <laughs> So now that my sound without any effects and not a lot of EQ in the preamp. So let's start with that. Now you're gonna hear nothing. The whispers is your overall volume control. So you have to open up that knob to start hearing something. At around 12 o'clock you have unity and after that you start having some type of saturation. It sounds really good. control you can get some crunchiness and some drive sounds the heart the heart is your drive knob so let's start a little slow overtaking your signal for my type of music I really like clean and not too aggressive overdrives and this one is definitely one of them let's start out 
adding more drive to it. with your volume. your low frequencies and adds more drive and kind of fuzzy tone to your sound and makes it kind of more breathy and high frequency <laughs> some kind of gain, some kind of drive to your sound, so you have to be careful and kind of balance those things, uh, but they all do something, and you get, almost at every setting, you get some really nice sounds. It never breaks up a part, you know, it never breaks apart your, your tone. So now let's have everything at noon and check out the switches. So there are three switches. The first two are filters and this one is some kind of fuzz. Avail is a low pass filter so when you engage it you remove some of the high frequencies. is the opposite is a high pass filter so it removes some of the lower frequencies it's really audible when you play bassier sounds without it with it filters on
lastly, we have compassion that is a fuzz, and it's not a really aggressive one. So you you can use it freely without you know um, having to compensate a lot volume. such a cool pedal um very simple to use sounds incredible on guitar of course because it's drive pedal but we're gonna use synthesizers we're gonna use the op1 to hear some sounds and we're also gonna use it for drums to see how it goes with drums it's a it's a really versatile pedal that just sounds good at every setting it doesn't have all those weirder and crazier effects that the other pedals have but um, it just sounds great and I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it just my go-to drive sound I just love this pedal, I mean I think it's my favorite one out of the three So now we're going to listen to the OP-1 coming through the lover. This is the dry tone. And here is the driven tone. saturates things and not distorting things it's keeping a lot of the information that is in the original signal and that is super important when you're working with synths or drums or anything else I'm 
supposed to use plugins for that, like the Decapitator or the new plugin in Ableton Live, the Roar. Um, but having a, a hardware unit to do that is much more convenient for me. So now we're going to use the Teenage Engineering KO2, which is a sampler, to feed some drums into the lover and see how it performs and some vocal chops and something I had prepared for this. So the dry sound is like that. I'm mainly going to use the pedal to use just the heart knob no it's the whispers knob which is a volume to saturate the sound but not to drive it too much you can already can hear some saturation going on so start introducing more parts already feeling much more energetic and cohesive and keep in mind that is some kind of a mix that is going on here so yeah let's hear just Just the drums. That we can drive a bit more. As I said, it is an overdrive pedal, but it doesn't break everything. It leaves a lot of the dry signal coming through, just saturated and not driven to the max. I'm a huge fan of empty head effects. All of their pedals have so much character and greediness to them, and the lover is a great example of that. This thing is gonna be my go-to 
drive pedal for a long time to come because I can use it on so many stuff, on so many instruments as a saturator, as a drive, as a fuzz, as a whatever because I really like milder types of overdrive and saturation also, if you consider getting one, I'm sure they're really really affordable regarding what you're getting for what you're paying so make sure to check them out go follow empty head effects i'll leave all their links in the description of this video and to close this review from my website sciencequest.net and now from this channel i honestly love doing reviews like this one and helping out just a tiny bit brands like empty head effects small brands, small independent brands that most of the time are just a few people or one person like in empty head effects who have a ton of passion and love and care in what they're doing. I've worked with most of the big brands and I will keep doing it because there are amazing people in those companies as well. But these projects have a very special place in my heart. So thank you for watching. Feel free to ask anything you want in the comments, I'll answer all of them, and I hope to see you on the next one. Love you.